It's winter holiday time on the island of Sodor. It's very cold, but the engines don't mind. They love this time of year when the stations look jolly in their decorations. There was plenty of work with passengers and parcels to be delivered, no matter what the weather. Driver says there's more snow on the way, said Edward. We'll soon be wearing our snow plows, said James. You'll enjoy that, won't you, Thomas? teased Henry. You know I won't, said Thomas. I don't like my snow plow. Sure enough, that night the wind blew and the snow fell heavily. The next morning, Sir Topham had arrived. He told the engines they were to have snow plows fitted. And you are to collect a special from Callan Station. It's needed for the village feast on Toby's branch line. Thomas was excited about his special, but not about his snow plow. Please, sir, my plow is awkward and uncomfortable. Do I have to wear it? Everyone has to wear a snow plow, said Sir Topham Hatt. The fitters, his driver, and firemen all helped with Thomas' snow plow. We'll have to try that again, laughed his driver. Big, horrid, awkward thing, Thomas grumbled. He was much happier when he arrived at Callan Station and saw his special. It was a beautiful Christmas tree. The tree will have lights and stand in the middle of the village, said Edward. Make sure you get it to Toby safely. I will, said Thomas. Thomas arrived at Maithwaite, and Toby was very happy to see him. The villagers will be delighted with this tree, Toby said. I'm glad you have your snowplow. I can't clear the snowdrifts by myself. Thomas couldn't see. There was a huge rock buried under the snow. Suddenly, his snowplow hit the rock. Bouncing buffers, exclaimed Thomas. My plow is broken. His driver tried to stop, but the broken plow hit the water tower. Cinders and ashes, exclaimed Thomas. We can't go any further, said Thomas's driver. And there's no one to help us. But the villagers need their tree, said Thomas. Let me try again. I'm sure I can make it. It wasn't easy without a snowplow, but Thomas was determined. He pushed, and he pushed, and he pushed. Thomas was trying as hard as he could, but there was just one snowdrift after another. Finally, Thomas and Toby were pulling into the village station. Thomas whistled and the villagers cheered when they saw their beautiful tree. Hooray, they said, hooray! The next day, Sir Topham Hatt sent for Thomas. Thomas was worried. What would Sir Topham Hatt say about his broken snowplow? But Sir Topham Hatt wasn't cross. He was very pleased. The villagers had a wonderful feast, he said. You were very brave to take on that snow without a plow. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. As you know, continued Sir Topham Hatt, there are no spare snow plows, so you'll just have to do without yours for a while. Oh, thank you, sir, grinned Thomas. Thomas.